So, boys, I stay tuned. There's a Gavaldiga podcast, Rabbi Steve Geller. Does a Gavaldiga Zach, and that'll be coming out this week. Torah Giants on Chumash. Shalom Ovrach, and welcome to the weekly piece on the Parsha from Torah Giants on Chumash, written by Rabbi Yitzchak Mayor Gunman, the Rabbi Meredith of Yonisov Rockway. Sit back and enjoy. Welcome to Torah Giants on Chumash. I'm Steve Geller. There was some really interesting Hashkacha Pratis to our piece this week. We'll get into all that, but now let's jump right into our Pasek. Vayivarchu es Rivka v'yamru la. Love and blessed Rivka and said to her, Achosenu, our sister, may you grow into thousands of myriads. May your offspring inherit the gates of their foes. From our Pasek, this seemingly simple send-off, the Talmud Kahala Rabati at the beginning of chapter one derives the mitzvah of reciting the Sheva Brachas over Kedushan. Tosvos in Ksuba considers our Pasek not the source, but just an asmachta, a clever hint read into the text. This is because the Torah makes no reference to a minion here, which is required for Sheva brachas. Lovin was apparently giving his sister the bracha just outside his house, so how could this be the primary source for the halacha? The Chizkuni was bothered by this and came up with a brilliant solution. He points out that earlier in our Parsha, when Eliezer proceeded to Haran, he brought with him 10 camels, each carrying a driver so there would be a minion for the recitation of the brachas. But did Lovin really intend to bless the Jewish people? And furthermore, when a father customarily gives his daughter this bracha to Badekin, isn't he honoring Lovin? Well, Rabbi Goodman quotes Rav Simcha Avalis and Zohari Torah with an answer. And tonight, already Thursday night, and the first chance I had to record this week's piece, I was going to wait until after Rabbi Feiner's shear before Marv to ask him if he had some color for us. Sitting down at this shear, I had no idea that his entire Thursday night shear would address this exact piece. And it is something to behold. It's a Camaro, whomever he pleases, so can Rivka. She doesn't have to listen to Pam. She says, I'm going, okay? So the girl is going, we got to leave her the bracha. How can you leave her that a bracha? Let's give her a bracha. What's the bracha? Our dear sister, you should have 10,000 children. Ah, Vada, that needs a beer. So we said many times of Yonas and Aishitz. In fact, of Yonas and Aishitz. I understand you guys tried to poison the shliach. BK Slaker Sakal. You don't want the shidduch to go through. And now that it's going through, you give your sister a bracha. Ah, Rivko, you should have all the brachas puravu. Milua Sa'ara. It's 10,000 little children running all around. So to Yonas and Aishitz, it's posh. If they can stop the shidduch, that's a lechachila. Let's Stop the shidduch. If we can't stop the shidduch, state in the Gemara, Rabbi Basha, Kafir Raman Aleph, you do B'di Kibach, if why, even though the stipe, the rights, and Chazabin, and Baal, Kilis, Yaakov, and a crying and nigger, so we know that nowadays, all the influences and the exposure that we have, you don't have to be mocked, but in this din in the Gemara, for various reasons, but Medina the Gemara, from the Zaman of Chazal, you have an Indian to go do B'di Kibach, if why, because Rov, Bonim, Hochan, Acherache, the ensuing offspring, the majority thereof, will go ahead and emulate the model themselves after the brothers of the mother. Solomon says, if I can stop the shidduch, that's why lechachila. And if I can't stop the shidduch, Rivka, I'm giving you a bracha as your brother. You should have 10,000 little lovens running all over the place. I want 10,000 little lovens running all over the place. That's the bracha. But it needs a beer. And we mentioned this Sam Sefer many times. It's a Sam Sefer. Both in Torah, Moshe, the Torah, and in Sam Sefer, the Torah, Frank, the Sam Sefer. What's with Milas Achoseinu? You're talking to your sister. If you're talking to your sister, just say, At, second person, At, he, Lafi, Revolver. You should go ahead and multiply, and there should be 10,000 little Rivkas and Lovins running all over the place. What's Achosayna? Oh, Rivka, our sister, you should know. It's a word that seems to be superfluous. In the end of the day, what's going on here? Zelta Sam Seifer. And we know in the Tzohamar is Marich on this idea later on, Per Chafei and Chai Sarposachov, that Yaakov and Esau, two sides of the spectrum, diametrically opposed. And Rivka, of course, was the Tzedek as Bas Rosha. Yitzchak was a Tzadik ben Tzadik. And Rivka was the Tzedek as Bas Rosha. So, how is that Rishis of being the sister of a lovin and the daughter of a soul? How is it going to manifest itself? So, we have Yitzchak, the Tzadik. Ben Sadik, he's gonna have Yaakovino, but uh, we know that the Esau comes out of the Chalik of the Zuma of the Tuma of Rivka's family. That's why Shnei going Bevitanech, and she was so worried, and Avram is gonna kick me out of the house. That's why she went to shame. And now Avram Vino, it's all my fault because I came from the house of Lovin and Besuel. So Lovin and Rasha says, Look, Rivka, we all know you're gonna have children. You're gonna have the Shnei going Bevitanech, and the old Mil of Yamats. You're gonna have the two kids. Now, like Roshoma Feifold, when he told the Bokhar Shayashi, who was drunk on Purim, and he came into the Rosh Hashiva holding a Jack Daniels in the right hand and a Johnny Wall. Walker in the left hand, and he walks into Roshim, and Roshim says, ah, now I know Pshat, Shnei Goyim Bevitnech. <laughs> you got two Goyim, 
inside that stomach on Purim. So, Lamaisa, you got a Yaakov and you got an Esau. So Laban says, Achoseinu, I, you know, I'm giving you a bracha. I don't want a bracha. I don't want a lot of little Yaakovs and a lot of little Esau's. I want just Esau. Achoseinu. Rivka, don't you have a, I'm giving you a bracha, but only Ben Ogea, you're our sister. Don't think about everybody else. I'm giving you a bracha that you should have a lot of little Lovins and Besuels as our family wishes upon you. And that's good for why he was Madgish. He emphasized, Achosenu, you are our sister. And therefore, I want a lot of little lovins and mesuos running all over the place. Right? Still some say for Vait. He says, now we understand, we know the Minigolam. And it's born in the Kitzvah of Shulchan Aruch. Simon Kuf Mem Zayin Sev Gimel. It's the Minigat. So an old and Hagen Yisu and Sparim. We know when it comes to my deck and I got to run out the Chasana tonight. Baruch Hashem, it's Chasana season. And you go to the Chasana. What's the Minig? The father. And the father-in-law, the Kala, they approach the Kala. And what's the minigal? Then we give the kala brocha achosenu out to the Amr Baba. Friend, there's some safer. I understand. Uh, you're saying achosenu. Why say the word achosenu? And Stamos, we're taking a brocha from Lavan and we're bringing Lavan's brocha into our chasen. What are we doing? So there's some safer. Because Lavan meant what? Achosenu. Ah, oh, Rivka, you belong to us. You're our sister. We want a lot of little love and the basuals running all over the place. That's some safer. Precisely because of that, we're Margish. We drive the point home emphatically. We approach the Kala and say, forget about what love and said. Ah, you're our sister. Rivka, Kala, you belong to us. You should have a lot of little Haligat children running all over the place. You're not a Chosenu, love and a Basu. Ah, we turn to the Kala. She's not our sister, right? Is that Terence as well? No, La Fuke, love and Kavon and Ah, We turn to the Kala and say, you belong to us. We want the Chalik of us, of Yitzchak, Ben Yab, Ben Avram. We want Ah, the Chalik of to manifest and express it itself. You should have millions of little children running all over, not Ace of uh, 8 o'clock. You should have Yankulas, little tentacles. And that's the reason for the Minigolam, something that he talks about in his Sam Sefer al Torah as well. But adds Rav Chaim Chukerman and his Otsar Chaim Rabbi Say Gaval de Garemes. It's all in there. And the unique terminology of a love. And what did he say? He said, You should have 10,000 kids. Why Revava? Right? Otsar Chaim Revava is Roshi Tavis, Rivka Bas Besul Harami. I'm giving you a brocha. You should have 10,000 a little children as Alpha Revova Reish Beis Beis Hey Rivka Bas Besul Arami Abba we say no it's Achaseinu you're not Revova you're Rivka what's Rivka Rivka Bas Kodesh Hashem it's a Rivka Bas Kodesh Hashem you belong to the family of Avram and Yitzhak Avinu it's Rivka Roshi Tavis Rivka Abbas Kodesh Hashem when Miyachis Rivka Ach Varak to Klai Yisrael and that of course is an expression of Lovan's Baruch I sat there just amazed at our good fortune first as usual another beautiful piece by Rabbi Goodman but the amazing contribution by Refiner from his shir tonight really makes it something special what I'll do is put the Torah anytime link to his entire 15 minute shir in the description all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, but most importantly, hit that share button and paste the link into email, text, WhatsApp, or your social media of choice. Who wouldn't love this amazing explanation into the very heart of every Jewish wedding? They'll all thank you for it, and it'll help realize the life's work of Rabbi Yitzchak Meir Goodman.